Welcome once again to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have in this episode is the Tojito DP line. This is their Bunka 160 millimeter knife. So this knife line uses a three layer construction and they've got the hardcore cutting edge steel in the center which is VG10 full stainless steel. He treats right around 60 Rockwell in that coarse steel. And uh, then they put a soft stainless cladding on either side of that hardcore steel. And you'll see a line it's pretty easy to tell on here. They've got a kind of a frosted, uh, sandblasted finish on here uh, where it kind of tapers down to the edge, but then you can see that coarse steel peeking out very easily. So these are, you know, laminated or three-layer blades. Uh, they are pretty darn stiff for their thickness. The weight is about 173 grams or 5.9 ounces, and most of that is in the handle. The edge length is about 163 millimeters or 6.4 inches on these. You might get slight variances, but they should be pretty close from sample to sample. The overall length is about 295 millimeters or 11.6 inches. And the spine thickness uh, typically is right around 1.9-ish. You know, it might vary slightly, but 1.9, 1.8. Uh, you can see this is a Bunka style, which means it has that kind of reverse sword tip on it. And you get that corner right there. And then these, uh, these are ground pretty doggone thin at that. You got a really nice taper. Look at that taper going into that tip. That's a fine tip right there and that's going to do great through certain kinds of product. Uh, nice for detail work, onions and stuff. You'll get some nice performance out of that tip. Here is the back choil shot and they're pretty thin at the edge as well so nice performing knives. Blade height, they're not particularly tall. This one is under 40 millimeters at the heel so not super tall. You'll have to kind of keep your fingers under there. Um, handles, these have great handles. They are made out of black micarta, which is just like bulletproof. It does not have the variation in um, expansion and contraction like a pack of wood would. Even though it's a stabilized wood product, these are more stable. And so these handles are just, just bulletproof. And uh, we've had a Tojito DP210 in the house for, gosh, at least five years. And it's just as smooth. You know, there's, the rivets aren't getting proud or the um, tang either so it's just very dimensionally stable so makes it a little heavier but boy these things are great uh, so it's just bulletproof handles so uh, you've got a full stainless steel tang that goes through the handle sides and then you've got stainless rivets and you've got uh, the bolster that flows right into the blade so nice fit and finish on these uh, I guess let's get our beauty shot so I can kind of capture that The um, finish is nice on these. You'll see they've got some kind of etched in kanji and maker name and made in Japan on there. You see on the right side of the blade, they've got kind of a faux kasumi finish, which is a sandblasted line there. And as it goes down towards the edge, uh, these have a little bit of relief on the, the spine, but typically most of these T DP series knives, the choil edges or the back of the blade here are a little on the sharp side. So uh, you may find that uh, objectionable. You may not care one bit. So if it tends to bother you, it would take you just, you know, 10 minutes with a little bit of strip of sandpaper, some emery cloth strips or something to just kind of take the edge off that, as you will, and kind of round that back off a little bit. Not a problem at all. So easy to fix, but just be aware that these are, you know, a little bit kind of not rounded or polished out of the box. So just that's the way they all are. So. Uh, what else here? Out of the box sharpness. These had a good, solid, nice looking, well crafted edge on them. I'd give them a 6 out of 10, so they're nice and sharp out of the box. This blade has a fair amount of stiffness to it. And let's take a look at it on the cutting board. Oh, balance point. I didn't do that yet. So the balance point, again, these, this micarta is a, a pretty dense product and it's a light blade, not too tall as well. So there's your balance point. So definitely not going to be blade heavy. For sure, especially uh, if you do a pinch grip. If you're doing a racket grip, it probably won't be the big deal. P uh, pinch grip, you'll get a little bit of a handle heavy feel to it. Here is our profile. And you'll see these are these have a little bit of belly to them for a Bunka style. So just kind of a continuous low belly. Uh, there's not much flat at all. So you can see I'm I'm not doing anything weird here. I'm just going back and forth, and you can see that's the 
edge profile. The tip, uh, the snout, the tip here is pretty low, so I'm not going to get real high on a, you know, on a rock kind of situation. So these really aren't all about rocking, but this isn't like super flat either, so just kind of be aware that it's got a little more belly than some of these style knives do. But, so it's kind of cool, Tojito's coming out with some newer styles and kind of expanding this line to some interesting shapes and sizes, so uh, it's a venerable line of knives and they work really well at home or in a pro environment as well, so it's, it's good, solid, you know, good performing steel as well, so excellent line of knives. This is the Tojito DP Bunka 160 millimeter knife.